Hello everyone, my name is Palms to my Yogi, and we're back for another edition of Palms to my Yogi's personal best opinions on Pokemon. And this edition will be the first um, alone Pokemon, just Pokemon on its own in this series. It doesn't have any evolutions, it is Farfetch'd. Now this should be a pretty short video, so anyway, let's get on the moves for Farfetch'd Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. First of all, you want Peck. Peck is a 35 power, 100 accuracy, physical flying type move. And it's pretty much the basic of all flying type moves. It's just, you know, decent. So, anyway, then we got Slash. Slash is a 70, po 70 power, 100 accuracy, physical normal type move. And the ability is, instead of having a 1 16 chance to have a critical hit, that's for every single attack, it'll actually have the special effect of having a 1 in 8 chance to get a critical hit. So it's pretty good, just in the move in general. And then Sword Stance. Sword Stance is a 100 accuracy, status normal type move. And pretty much what it does, it raises your... Um, physical attack by two each time you use it, so it'll say sharply, but it raises it by two each time. So it's very good for like, you know, Peck and Slash, they're both physical type moves, so it's a very good setup move. Uh, it's the main common one that's the best, actually. And anyways, then we got Sand Attack. Sand Attack is a 100 accuracy ground status type move, and pretty much this is what this does, um, obviously this won't work against like stuff with, like flying types and stuff, you know, ground zero effective against flying, but anyways, pretty much what it does is if it lands, um, it lowers the accuracy by one on whoever you use it against, so obviously, um, you know, having your opponent, whoever lose their accuracy is going to make it harder for them to land stuff, so it's a very good move, uh, and stat drop to have. <laughs> anyway, then for Ruby Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green, so instead of um, Slash and Sand Attack, you actually want Knock Off and Fury Cutter, so Knock Off is a 65 power, 100 accuracy, physical dark type move. And pretty much what it does, it's powerful already, but um, if you use this against a Pokemon that has a held item, it'll knock off their held item. And plus, if it does that, it also just does double the damage in that turn. So it'll actually do 130 power, so it's a very good one, very good. And then we got Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter is a 40 power, 90 accuracy, physical bug type move. And what's so great about this, you're probably thinking, oh, it's not that strong. But if you keep using this move in a row, it'll keep getting stronger and stronger, so... Each time you use it in a row, I believe it'll get 10 uh, power stronger, and it's just good in general. Um, and then on for Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, instead of Fury Cutter and. What was the other one? Peck? Yeah, okay. You got Aerial Ace and Poison Jab. So Aerial Ace is a 60 power physical uh, flying type move, and its special ability is that it never misses, so it's a very good attack. Uh, if you want to make sure to never miss. And then you got Poison Jab. Poison Jab is an 80 power, 100 accuracy, uh, poison physical type move. And this has a 30% chance, I believe, to poison uh, whoever you use it against. And what the poison status effect does, is you just pretty much take a bit of damage each turn. As long as you, you are, you can get poison. Like, uh, obviously poison is zero effective against steel, so you wouldn't be able to, I don't think, poison or just hit poison stuff on steel types anyway. Um, so yeah, it's just a pretty good move in general. And, oh, what the, why is this here? <laughs> I already have knockoff in the front. That was weird Well, that was just there. I don't know why that was there. <laughs> anyway, for Pokemon Black, White, Black 2, White 2, X, Y, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. Now, the only thing different here, instead of Aerial Ace, you actually want Brave Bird. Now, Brave Bird is probably... Uh, the second strongest powerful uh, flying type move attack. Um, well, then again, it could be considered the best because there is one other one in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee that Farfetch has instead. But pretty much what it does is 120 power, 100 accuracy, physical flying type move. Now, the only thing bad about this move is depending on how much damage you do, you'll take quite a bit of damage back at that to yourself. So you'll be doing a lot of damage, but you'll be taking damage as well to yourself. And then for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, the only thing different here is instead of Poison Jab, Knock Off, and Brave Bird, you actually want Sky Attack, Razor Leaf, and Mirror Move. So I'll explain what uh, Sky Attack does first. Sky Attack is a 140 power, 90 accuracy, physical flying type move. See, I said this is better power than, you know, Brave Bird, but the thing about this is, it takes, it's like a turn, a two turn move, but it's really good because, um, well actually, no, because it kind of really sucks. You pretty much are, have to wait one turn to like charge it up so you can get hit during that. 
because it says like you're being like surrounded by light or something, but it doesn't have the same effect as fly where you go up in the air for one turn and then you pretty much, most of the time, certain attacks have like certain uh, special abilities to hit a Pokemon like underground or in flight or something, but this one is just like super powerful, so it's like, why not? Well, anyways, <laughs> um, and then you got Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is a 55 power, 95 accuracy, physical grass type move. And it's just like Slash to where it has that high critical hit chance, it'll be 1 in 8 instead of 1 in 16 chance. And it actually, in a double battle, it'll hit both of the Pokemon, so it's a very good move. And then Mirror Move. Mirror Move is a 100 accuracy status flying type move. And pretty much what it does, whatever the last move was, uh, when you use this, uh, it actually just uses that move. So it can be anything from a status move to an attack move, any of that. Uh, as long as it's not, you know, Mirror Move, because I don't think Mirror Move can... Mirror move, you know. <laughs> I don't think mirror move can copy the last move being mirror move. I think it'll just say it would fail because it'll just be an infinite loop. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> yeah. So anyways, uh, for the held item Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, I actually want the Sharp Beak. Now this boosts the power of flying type moves by 10%, so it's pretty good. And then for Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, you want the Silver Powder. This boosts the power of Bug type moves by 10%. And then you want, for Fire Red and Leaf Green, you want the Black Glass. Now this boosts the power of Dark type moves by 10%. And then for Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black White, Black 2, White 2, XY, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. So, um, for offline you want the Life Board. Now this, whoever's holding this, um, the power of their physical and special attacks gets boosted by 30%, but every time they do attack, um, they take damage depending on da how much damage they do. So it's pretty much like Brave Bird and all that. You do a lot of damage, but you know, you'll be taking uh, some damage as well each time you do damage. And then for the online, um, so pretty much how online works, if you use, if you have a Pokemon with a held item that gets used up in a battle, if it's online, you get the item right after the battle is done. So, especially for items like Focus Ash, they were really annoying to, you know, grind in the offline mode. Um, it's just like it's one of those top tier items and just some items in general that take a long time to grind, like berries or something like that. But anyway, what the Focus Sash does is, if the Pokemon is holding this and they're at full health and they would have got one shot, they always live in one health. So it's a very good item indeed. Um, as long as you don't get flinched, frozen, paralyzed, asleep, or just miss your move, uh, you always get one move off, so you have a better chance of winning. Um, and then for Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, same item for online, the Focus Sash, but for offline, you actually want Poisonium Z. You know, this is just to, you know, transform that poison jab just to make it stronger. And then, uh, for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, there are no held items. Now the ability. Um, I'll explain the hidden ability first. And it is Defiant. Defiant pretty much is, um, if you get lowered, like, with any stat on the one who, well, let me explain this. If you try to lower any stat on the one with the ability to Defiant, I don't think it just has to be attack. Um, their attack immediately gets raised, I think, by two or one. I believe it's by two, um, so it could be very good just like that, but since uh, I didn't have those kind of abilities on like Pokemon like Farfetch, because they have like, you know, high attack, but their speed and all the other stats are like really low, so you're most likely going to get about, about to have like a turn or so with these Pokemon out, so you want to make the best you can. So then the other ability, uh, basic ability, would be Keen Eye, and this makes it to where you cannot lose any accuracy, so it's pretty nice, but... The one you want on Farfetch'd, in my opinion, is Inner Focus. So this pretty much makes it to where you never get flinched. So you'll even have a better chance if you run the whole Focus Sash strategy to get your move off. Because that would suck if you just get flinched and then you're like, okay, Farfetch'd, you were just useless. <laughs> because most likely Farfetch'd is going to get outsped. Because like I said, it's one of the Pokemon has the worst stats in the game. So you pretty much want to make the best that you can with it. So, yeah, anyways, so, yeah. Well, anyways, <laughs> that's it for the video, so if you enjoyed, if you'd be so kind to support me by donating to my Patreon, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course, so feel free to. Link is in the description down below. But anyways, I've been your host, Paul Spamayoi, and goodbye.